This is my hour. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Mind Power. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and today I'm going to show you a little trick using Adobe Premiere Pro version CS 5.5. And um, this is something that I think is a pretty common function among versions of Premiere Pro, but it was something that I really had to search the forums for to find an answer to this. The problem is that uh, I record a lot of my audio with an external microphone plugged into my camcorder and sometimes I'm using, like in this case, a mono microphone in a stereo microphone jack for the uh, for the GH2 that I use um, and both of my Sony cameras, if I plug in one of my mono microphones like my shotgun mic or this uh, boom mic that I have hooked up to my head here, um, this creates a left panned recording. And on this left pan recording, there is no audio on the right channel. This causes a problem when you go to play back your video because, of course, it only plays back out of the left channel. I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up here, but I'll play back some of a uh, couple weeks back video that I was editing. So, Chrome, we'll launch it right here. Go up to the Chrome menu. And you can see just looking at this view meter that it's only coming out of the left channel. Select preferences. All right, so uh, to fix that, it's really, really very, very simple. Um, there is a function in here for clip. So you can go into the clip menu and audio options. And there would normally be something break out to mono, but that doesn't always work. Like for instance, right now, even though that's a stereo track that has data that's left panned, it's not allowing me to break it out to mono. This was uh, an issue that I tried to bring up in the forums, but um, anyway, it never really got resolved. But there's an easier way to do it. If you're gonna have your video track anyway, in this case, I didn't use my video. It's just black. I just recorded uh, the audio on the camera for the sake of recording nice audio uh, with an external microphone. So in, in this case, I'll just uh, go ahead and unlink them and we'll get rid of the video track just to look at the audio. And there's a really simple effect to use. It's under audio effects over here and it's called fill left. Now, if all of the, vid if all the audio was in the right track, you would use fill right. But I'm gonna use fill left. It will fill both channels with whatever's in the left channel. So now, if you watch this view meter over here and we start to play it again, scroll down a little bit, you'll see manage saved passwords. It comes out like really nicely evened in both channels. So that's the simple solution. And it's kept me from having to have a lot of extra data files. You know how you render and replace stuff. You end up with copies of the audio and uh, more files that don't necessarily need to be there. I'd rather just work with just the original files and have it just uh, rendered out into the end file. So this is a simple way to do that. Uh, this is one of the steps that I do in editing my videos so I hope that you enjoy this. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can help me out by clicking those like and favorite buttons down below. And if you enjoy seeing tech tutorials, reviews, and more, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you do. Also, if you have any questions or ideas to contribute, make sure you tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Mind Power.